2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. The Apex of Automotive Psychotropics. Overview The brutal GT2 RS is the chainsaw of the 911 lineup compared with the scalpel like GT3. Its 700 horsepower twin turbo flat 6 drives the rear wheels through a 7 speed dual clutch automatic for a claimed 2.7 second 0 to 60 mph time, conservative, we think and powered this fastest ever 911 to a record lap at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Steering is laser direct, and the rear slides, controllably, if directed, the brakes are amazing, with no fade present during repeated high-speed stops on track. When we first drove the Cayman GT4, we suggested that the lowliest motorsport-grade Porsche road car was basically a gateway drug, the sort of entry-level thrill that, as Reefer Madness warned our grandparents, would lead to more serious and expensive addictions. Now, nearly three years later, we've met the automotive narcotic that sits at the top of that scale. On the basis of our first hit in Portugal, we suspect the new Porsche 911 GT2 RS could be the most potent automotive psychotropic of them all. The name isn't hard to decode, and we understand if your first instinct is to feel that this will be a familiar story. While GT3 versions of the 911 use higher revving naturally aspirated engines to give what is almost a perfect balance between performance and grip, GT2s use turbocharged engines to deliver a more brutish appeal and a generous excess of power. The RS addendum stands for Ren Sport and indicates this car's track-centric mission. Whereas the previous generation GT2 had an already gratuitous 620 horsepower. This new 991 edition moves that number up to a credibility stretching 700 horses, courtesy of a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter flat 6 with a water spraying system to cool its intake charge. The torque, a modest 553 pounds to foot, is delivered to the rear wheels through a 7 speed dual clutch automatic transaxle, PDK. Unlike the GT3, there is no manual option, 